Hello, my beautiful friends. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I am so excited about this one, you guys. I have a lot of new products to try out and nothing was over $5. We have a lot of products to test out, so let's just get into this. Okay, you guys, I apologize for the eyesore you are seeing on your monitors right now. Um, I'm in pretty rough shape. I went out last night. Uh, my boss, he's an actor. So he belongs to a small acting club, and they do these plays like once a year. It's a beautiful theater down in Detroit, and you can take your own food and booze, and you guys can, uh, you know, guess what happened to me. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty rough, you guys, but I really wanted to come down here and film because I really want to try out these products. And what made me look into this um, company a little bit more is I purchased these brushes and the sponge off Amazon, and I really like them. And a few of you had mentioned that they have stores. Well, they don't have one, you know, have one here in Michigan. So I went on their website, and it was like a rabbit hole, you guys. I kept clicking and clicking and clicking. And what I came up with is I purchased all of this, you guys. I just can't even believe how much stuff I got. And guess how much all of that was? I think there's almost, I don't even know how many products, you guys, but it was less than $50. Most of it's like a dollar, maybe $2. So let's get into this, you guys, because I really want to get through all these products. So I'm not going to be, chit you know, chit-chatting too much. Um, but I did try a few things already. Well, just actually one thing uh, is this here, you guys. I'm going to be a little whoo today. <laughs> but um, it's their dry shampoo, and I don't like it. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Because... I sprayed my hair and I swear it was almost like, you know, that Halloween paint to, you know, make your hair gray. My hair was white, you guys. I don't even know. It, it might still be in there. It is so bad. So I will not be using this. But if you have blonde hair or even white hair, you know, this would, you know, probably work good because I could tell it did, you know, give me some uh, grip. Okay, you guys, I have really got to get a hold of myself. <laughs> I am just a mess. Okay, so, and then I think I did, I don't think I tried anything else, but there's a couple things I can't really show on here. Um, like I got these uh, soap sheets. I thought this would be nice to be, you know, put in my purse if I ever had to wash my hands, you know, and they didn't have soap or something. So I thought that was just nice to have. And then I got these, you guys. I'm so excited to try these. Um, you guys know how I wear my chin strap and they have their own. So I got uh, three of those masks. And, you know, if I do like them, it's going to be cheaper than what I purchased on Amazon. So I'm super excited to try these. Okay, you guys, and I did get this little mirror here. And you know what? It's not too bad. Um, I don't know. We'll we'll try it out. It, you know, upstairs, it looked like there was like a film on it. But down here, it's actually okay. I don't know, you guys. Let's get into this. I need to get some brows on because I just, oh, I just can't stand it. And I did get some new um, brow products. So I got two, it looks like um, just the, I don't know, pencil liners. And the reason why I got two is I didn't know what shade to get. And it's called their Slim Brow. And this is in the shade A Dark Brown. And so is this one. Um, I think one was supposed to be black. So they may have sent me the wrong uh, shade. So if this is too light, I don't know what I'm going to do because I need brows on. So let's just try this out. I won't do the full brow on camera because you guys, there is a lot to go through here. So I am just going to, you know what? This shade works pretty good, I think. And I am just making a complete mess. I don't even think I have any coordination right now. Uh, <laughs> and I think I'm a little shaky, so this is going to be interesting. But you guys are getting the idea. Um, yeah, this is nice and smooth. It's not like super waxy or hard to work with, so I am pretty happy with this. Okay, so that's about all I'm going to do with this pencil. Uh, like I said, so far... It is working uh, pretty nice. So hopefully, oh my gosh, you guys, this might be a disaster video. Oh, well, <laughs> what can we do? All right, and then I did also get the Micro Brow Pen. I absolutely love these. I've used these in the past, not by this brand, but other companies. And what I love about them is they have like these prongs. I absolutely love that. So let's try that out. Yeah, so... It makes like those little fine uh, strokes. Yeah, that was in soft black, and this one is in dark brown. So let's see if there's a big difference. Uh, yeah, there's quite a difference. So let me start with the dark brown, because I really only use that on the front here. Okay, so now I'm just going to 
do small flicks. So you guys, these aren't bad at all. That was very uh, quick. So I'm actually going to make a few more strokes and we're going to see how waterproof this is. You guys know how I am about that. And so let me just finish off this other brow and then we'll continue on with the rest of these products. Okay, so I already primed my eyes. I just used my favorite one that I get off Amazon, uh, this one here, because I did forget to buy a primer. But everything I'll be using will be in the description box below. Okay, you guys, I did get a couple new palettes that I'm super excited about. And the first one looks like this. Isn't that beautiful? I love the packaging. Super simple. But it has these really pretty uh, flowers on there. And this one is called Cherry Blossom. Now, I did uh, swatch a couple of them because I wasn't sure if they were uh, shimmers or not. And I'm still a little confused. Like this purple one here. I think it's more of a satin finish. So let's just uh, swatch that one again. I'm just going to put it on my finger. And I'm also going to grab uh, that matte uh, shade in the middle. And then I am going to grab the shimmer because I know that is a shimmer. Just to see uh, the difference between the formula on all three of those. So, hmm, you guys, they swatch really nice. Yeah, I think that purple one is more like a satin finish. So I did get another uh, palette too because I saw it over on Amazon. And this one is called, um, let's see, Tropical Sierra. So it looks like this. Again, the packaging is super cute. And I'm having a hard time opening it. <laughs> okay, I got it, you guys. But this is this palette. So I think this is more like a satin finish or topper palette. I would, I don't think I would use all of these on my eye at the same time. But I just thought it was super pretty. So that's why I grabbed it. So maybe I'll just incorporate uh, both of these into the look. I think I'm going to start off Oh, this is a hard one. Uh, let's just go with the neutral one here just to kind of get a feeling for all of these shades. And I'm going to be using uh, their brush here, AOA brushes. So, okay, you guys, it is gliding on pretty good. Uh, it's pretty pigmented. I didn't even pick up a lot on my brush. So, yeah, they seem to blend out pretty good. Uh, it's not patchy or anything. Not too shabby. And these brushes are really nice, you guys. I think I got that whole set, I want to say, and it came with soap, it came with a sponge, uh, it came with a nice case. I want to say it was like $15 on Amazon. And I think it was the same on their website. It could have been a little cheaper on their website, but I can't remember. And also what I want to point out too is I got these products in less than a week. So I was really nervous. I thought it was going to take like forever for them to get here, but yeah, it wasn't long at all. Then I think I'm going to go into this pretty shade here. It's like a, I don't know, maybe like a very light lilac or... I can't even explain that color. It's like a mauve, but it's super pretty. Now that one is very buttery. Um, it feels a little bit more buttery than that brown shade. Yeah, but as you can see, they are not very pigmented. And it could be that I went over that brownish shade with that lavender and maybe it's just kind of muting it way too much but yeah i just feel like you know the colors really aren't popping at this point but we're going to keep you know continue using it and see what we come up with and now i'm going to go into this pretty shade here um or do i want to do the purple now you guys i think i'm going to do this one i know a lot of you are probably screaming at me to do the purple um hmm. all right you guys let's do the purple and see what happen so I am going to go into this shade here even though I think it is a satin finish but let's just see what it does on the eye yeah as you can see it's just not very pigmented you guys I'm really going to have to build up on this but actually it might be very nice instead of being like in your face maybe this will actually be prettier um yeah that is you know i'm taking it back you guys i'm going <laughs> to take back what i just said because the more i just kind of packed on the color and started moving it around it's actually just giving me enough to where i would feel actually comfortable wearing the shade yeah i can't believe how deceiving the shade is yeah like you go in and it looks just too soft but then the more you start moving the product around it like deepens up it's the most bizarre thing 
Okay, so now I am going to go into that shade. I think you guys, let's just see. And I'm gonna put a little bit on this round brush. I don't know about this one. Uh, and just kind of deepen up this outer corner. Oh yeah, no, that works you guys. Um, I was a little nervous. I thought it was gonna be more of a brown undertone, but it actually has like a more purple undertone. So I think that's going to work. And I think that's about all I'm going to do uh, with that. I don't want to go too overboard. Now, is this my favorite palette? No, you know, but it's not bad, you guys, especially for being maybe uh, $2. And I love the color story. You know, it's super pretty. Um, yeah, there's just some really, really pretty uh, shades in here. Let's just swatch uh, two more. So there's like a nice pink shade in there. And then also, ooh, that is really pretty too. So I just feel like when I pick it up with my finger, I'm getting more of a payoff than with the brushes. So it could be a combination, either the brushes, but I have used the brushes before or just the formula. But let's get into uh, this little palette here. I just want to try uh, this out just to see what that's all about. So I think I'm just going to actually mix. Oh my goodness. Uh, that is just a little chalky it felt like um i don't know what that is uh interesting um hmm yeah you guys i don't know about these palettes uh i don't even know what's happening there okay so i tried to pick up this and it just felt very um as you can even see on my finger it's almost like i don't know choppy is the only uh, way i can explain it let's play you know try it on the eye though and see what happens Ooh, it's actually very pretty though yeah, I can't explain the texture. It was almost like, yeah, like chalk, you guys. I can't even come up with a different word, but I'm really liking this color. Um, mm, not bad, you guys. That is super pretty. Let me also just try like that gold shade in here. Now, yeah, now that one feels a little different. And I'm just going to place that more like just in the middle. I don't know how this is really going to go, you guys, but I'm just trying <laughs> to try all of these different shades. Ooh, that is a super pretty, too. And what I think I'm going to do is go back into this palette here and use that, you know, really pretty shade over here just to kind of even things out. I feel like that gold just kind of threw off that look. Yeah, that's not bad at all, you guys. Not bad at all. I really do uh, like this, you know, even though I, it's you know hard for me to understand what's happening with that, but I like how it does apply. You know, I do like the payoff that it does give me once it's on the eye. Hey, you guys, so this is the look here. I'm very torn on these palettes. Um, I really do like this one. I really love like that topper here. It just had a weird texture. And this one, um, the only thing I can explain on this palette is I feel like I'm going to get like that hard pan really quickly. That's the only way to explain uh, the feeling I'm going to get, you know, that I'm getting from that palette. But let's move on for, you know, with the rest of the products, you know, so far so good, I think, in my opinion. So, all right, you guys, um, I did get a new eyeliner and it's actually one of those wing stamps. I actually really like these. And so let's see what this looks like. Okay. So one end, there is just, um, the stamp itself. And then the other end is uh, the liner. And I have used these type of things in the past, and I really actually like them. So that is the stamp there. Hmm. And you know we'll be testing uh, the waterproof capabilities on this. So let's see if I can figure it out. I'm going to need my better mirror to see what I'm doing here. Now, I don't understand how I'm going to be able to do both eyes with the same you know, with it facing the same way, because I feel like if I stamp it here, the wing is going to go downward. Like here, this makes sense, I think. And just stamp it. Yeah, like see how it kind of went up? I'll try it. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, I guess they do both go the same way. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so now I am going to just kind of connect everything. And bring it over just a little a bit. And I really do like um, the tip of this. And that wing stamp was very easy to use. And I'm going to clean it up just a little bit in just a minute. But as you can see how easy that was.
And I actually do like uh, that wing stamp. And if it's waterproof, I'm going to be using uh, that quite often. Okay, you guys, I did get um, also some new uh, blotting paper. So it came with uh, 90 sheets. So I've been using these a lot. You guys have been seeing me using blotting paper a lot lately. So this one is just very uh, thin. And let's just try it out and see how well that does. Oh my, uh, yeah, it picks up quite a bit of oil here, folks. Uh, <laughs> well, a lot of it's my skincare, but I do like to, you know, pick up any extra that's just kind of sitting on top of the skin and really give um, my products a chance. So, okay, these blending sheets work very well. All right, and I think I did get a pore filler. Yeah, I did. Um, so this is called pore filling primer and it's clear so let's give a, this a try you guys I thought I wasn't even recording I just happened to look I'm like oh, am I not recording but I'm good so that's what it looks like and I think I'm just going to place this on my t-zone Ooh, it feels oily um oh boy I don't know about this you guys yeah it feels like oil I'm not even kidding you um hmm uh let me take a look at the pore filler <laughs> and see if it did fill in the pores. Oh, I'll be darn, it did. It really um, blurred them. Uh, this is very interesting, you guys. Interesting, interesting products. Okay, I did get another primer, and this one is called Aqua, and it's a hydrating face primer. So it looks like this, and I'm just going to move things around because you don't know how long they've been sitting on the shelves. And let's see what this one feels like. Ooh, this one, um, hmm, this reminds me a lot of that Tarte one I just purchased. And it does feel a little watery. Um, yeah, I, I, it feels really nice and soothing. Okay, you guys, I kind of like this. I did feel like an instant hydration on my face, so... Yeah, that's, you know, very interesting. If my makeup lasts really good with this, I'll be happy with that because, yeah, that felt really, really nice. Okay, you guys, and I did get um, a couple of foundations, and well, actually one's a CC cream, and the other one is their uh, Buildable Satin Foundation. So the two look like this. I was thinking about this. I'm like, I want to try both of them. Maybe like on this side, I'll use this one. And <laughs> you know what I mean? So we will just try uh, both of them out. So let's try this one here, the Buildable Satin uh, Foundation. And I got mine in the shade uh, Pure Beige. And see, I hate these uh, droppers. They are so messy. Oh gosh, that is the only thing I do not like about it uh, so far. So that's what it looks like. It looks a little yellow but we will see you guys so i'm just going to place a little bit on my face and let's just use um let's use a sponge today well you know what you guys know i'm going to use my brush i'm going to do it just like i always would and i'm just going to tap this around and just see what it looks like okay it has pretty uh decent coverage and I'm just going to do the side of the nose. And let's take a look at what it looks like on the skin. Okay, I would say it's more of a matte finish. Um, more matte than satin. And the shade, yeah, it's just a little yellow. But we will see, you guys. Uh, it's not bad at all. It doesn't look like really chalky you know like some matte foundations you know fan uh, foundations can look uh especially on dry skin so let's try the cc cream and i got mine in the shade medium so let's take a look at this one and this one is much lighter so and thicker it does feel thicker than the other one. Oh yeah it's a lot thicker so let's take a look at the shade and, oh, you guys, you know what? I only have one brush. So what I'll do is just kind of uh, clean this one off and then go into the side and just feel what this is all about. Oh, that looks really pretty, uh, too. So it's a CC cream, you know, so it's more of a color correcting uh, than really coverage. And I really do see that. Um, it's actually really 
This is really pretty. I'm wondering, you know, what would happen if I combined the two? I bet you it would make a really nice uh, foundation. So it, I do feel like they're oxidizing. Are you guys getting that too? Or is it just me? Now I am tan down here. Uh, you know, I self tan. So uh, it's good that this is happening. But let's do something. Let's mix the two. And we're going to come up with this little cocktail and see what happens. Replace a little bit here, here, here. <laughs> we're going to have to make things even here, you guys. So Ooh, I like the shade uh, that that kind of became. So we will see you guys. Maybe this was a good thing to do. There really is no um, scent to these two. You know what I'm finding? I'm not picking up like a strong paint odor. You know, like sometimes with these kind of products, uh, they can smell, you know, have that paint odor. I'm not getting that at all. There's like zero scent to these. That pore filler is, well, I, I did, huh? I don't get it. It felt like complete oil going on my My pores are literally non-existent, especially through here. I am so confused. Um, yeah, I, I'm stumped on that product, you guys. I'm going to keep you updated for sure. Um, if my makeup started slipping around or anything like that. I don't know if you guys can tell. Okay, you guys, that's pretty, pretty impressive. And then I did get a squalling balm. And actually, you could use this all over your face and body, it says. Um, but actually, what I'm going to use it for today is just for under the eyes. I've been using like that other balm, that vitamin C one that I have. So I thought this might be nice too. So I'm just going to place a little bit under my eyes because my under eyes are like the desert. Um, I tell you guys that all the time and I'm not kidding you. If I don't put something under my eyes, I'm feeling any more, my, any concealer, I don't care what it is, looks like garbage. So I've been doing this and it really does help. So I'm just going to let this soak in for just a minute. Now this is feeling greasy too. So I'm getting a little nervous about that. Um, yeah, it has a lot of slip and it's not really Absorbing. So let me just let it sit here for a second. I'll come back and we'll go on with uh, the concealer that I purchased. Um, there's still a little bit of slip, but it's a good slip. So <laughs> we will see you guys. Um, and so I did get like a, a pot concealer. I've never tried a pot concealer before. It's called Top Secret Concealer. And I got mine in the shade Light Ivory. So that is what it looks like. And hopefully that's not too uh, dark. So I'm just going to grab my concealer brush. Just place a little bit on there. And let's see what this does, you guys. And I did not put a lot on this brush at all. No, I actually think this is going to be a really nice uh, shade. So far, it's um, applying very nice. Uh, and it could be, you know, that I went over that balm. It does have pretty decent coverage, as you guys can see here. I'm actually just going to place a little bit through the T-zone just to kind of lighten this area. Okay, so what I'm getting off of this concealer, and I don't know if it's because I laid that balm first, um, but I feel like if I didn't lay that balm, it would look super dry because I just feel like it's a drier uh, formula because even when I'm doing this, I can kind of see a little bit of crepiness going on. And I don't know, you guys, it could be a combination of things right now with my under eyes. Like I said, they're super dry. And again, I was drinking last night, so that could be the problem. I don't know. But as of right the second, it's not my favorite concealer, but it's not the worst either for sure. Okay, you guys, um, I forgot to put on a brow gel, so I forgot I got that. So let's try that out. And okay, the wand is ginormous. Um... <laughs> Let's try it though, you guys. And I'm actually going to place a little bit over here. We'll just test, you know, how waterproof that is. And let's see the shade. It's a little light uh, for my eyebrows. Okay, so unless you love huge wands like this, I would pass on the brow gel. Um, the formula is good though, because 
you know, I do have a little tack to the eyebrow, but they're not too tacky. And it really did, you know, set the brows in place. So again, the formula is not bad. So maybe what I'll do is just use a different spoolie when I do use this because I kind of, you know, like the formula, just not the wand. Okay, you guys, I got several um, or three different bronzers. And again, I was just clicking away, you guys. And the first one is this one here to stick... Um, bronzer and I got it in the shade uh, soft tan. I also got another stick bronzer but this one actually could be maybe used as a contour uh, and this is in the shade latte so it just looks like a um, crayon type situation and then I got another bronzer in with uh, the blush here and I'll show you the blush in a minute but so we got these choices. So let's go into this crayon one and I'll just use that as maybe a contour. And just do here, there. Yeah, just put a little bit under the nose. This would be really good uh, for around the lip here. And just place a little bit here and here of this shade. And let's see how easy this is to blend out. Not blending too easy as you can see um yeah it's not one of the most blendable formulas i have but it's not too bad and, and the weird thing is it doesn't feel dry i don't know but as you can see here where i drew you can still see those lines so yeah it's I definitely use it as a contour situation and not a bronzer Okay, let's try uh, this one, you guys. And I think what I'll do with this one is actually just go in like this, like I normally would. And that way you don't have all the little lines. Yeah, and it might be actually too light for me um, because I am, you know, self tanning. Because I'm really not seeing a huge color payoff. So what I think I'll do is, um, oh, well, you guys, I couldn't find <laughs> to put the lid back on. There we go. What I think I'll do is go in with this um, powdered one and just go over this just to set it anyway. Let's see how that works. Yeah, that is deepening it up just a little bit, which is nice. I don't want to be too bronzy, but at least now we can see some shade going on. Oh, I got this. I forgot about it. It's um waterproof eye makeup gel. So what I seen people how they how they were using this is you just like place a little bit on a surface, like like a little drop, and then you would take a little bit of eyeshadow and scrape a little bit off. Just kind of mix it in there. This would be a great little thing to make your own little eyeliners out of your um, eyeshadows. So, and I'm going to have to find a place um, <laughs> to put this. Maybe I'll do it under here just to see how this works, you guys. So yeah, this would, you know, make a really nice um, eyeliner. Uh, yeah, I really like how that works. And if things, you know, will be waterproof with it. Again, that's what it says. Um, this is a game changer that you really would never have to buy, you know, a bunch of different uh, liquid eyeliners in different colors and stuff. So yeah, um, let's hope for the best, you guys. I'm going to place a little bit on the back of my hand that is right there. We'll see how uh, waterproof that is. Okay, and then what else did I get from this company, you guys? I didn't get any powders um, because I just have so many uh, powders. So actually what I'm going to use is my Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus. So I'm just going to hurry up, apply some powders. Uh, I'll come back and we'll put, uh, put on the blush, mascara, and lipstick. Okay, so let's apply the blush. And again, it was in that duo where I used the bronzer. Um, and it's called Hello Divine Duo Aloha. And that is the shade. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a bubblegum a pink. You know, it's just such a hot shade right now. Uh, everybody, you know, is using um, those shades. So I can see why. They're just absolutely beautiful. It's so spring. 
and just lightens up the face if you ask me. So, oh yeah, this is pretty uh, pigmented, which is interesting because it seems like everything I've used is pretty light and pigment. But this one, you do not need to apply a lot to get a color payoff for sure. I'm just going to place a little bit in my shadow just to tie things together. Okay, you guys, we need to put on a mascara, and I did get a new mascara from them, and it's called AOA Fat Lash. So let's take a look at the wand. So it looks like that. Um, yeah, it's one of those um, plastic applicators. And I forgot my eyelash curler, you guys, and I'm way too lazy to go get that. <laughs> so we're just going to go in without curling the lashes. Okay, so far so good. Um, I do like the wand and it's not super wet, so it's really grabbing the lashes. Uh, that's pretty impressive. You guys see, and it was just a couple strokes. Okay, so I will do two uh, coats of um, on each eye, and I'll come back, and we'll just finish off the look with the lips. Okay, you guys, so that is two coats of that mascara. It is super impressive. It really created length, the volume, separation. Um, I mean, all the checks were marked using this. And it, you guys, if you remember, I didn't even curl my lashes. It's almost like it did it for me. Um, yeah, if this doesn't flake or smear or any of that, I am going to be super excited about this mascara. Now, the only thing that concerns me is it did start drying uh, down quickly, which, you know, I, there's that possibility where it might flake, but it dried down in a good way because it actually grabbed my lashes even more and created that volume and length that, you know, we all look for. So I will definitely keep you posted on this mascara. Okay, you guys, I realized I didn't buy lipsticks, but I did buy like lip liners. They're um, gel lip liners. And let's see what these shades are, you guys, and if it will even go uh, with this look. And oh, again, see, they're that weird... Um, I don't know where, I don't even know if you can sharpen these things, you guys. Again, if anybody has used this type of, it almost feels like plastic, um, if you can sharpen this. I don't know. Anyway, you guys, uh, this, is, this is the shade, uh, let's see, Lasso. So it's more like a brown shade that definitely will not go with this look. Um, and the other one is called uh, Whiskey. So... That is that look. Um, hmm, you guys, neither are going to go with this, but I think the better of the two is going to be the whiskey. So let's just try out the formula and make this work, you guys. And they're creamy, that's for sure. And very easy to use. And yeah, so you guys can see. Yeah, see how easily that just, you know, glided across the lip. Yeah, and they're a little drier, though, once they're on the lip, um, which I think would be nice because then you don't have to worry about, you know, them coming off easily. So let's do this, you guys. And I actually have, like, a Wet n' Wild uh, lip gloss down here that maybe I'll just put over it and, hope, you know, hope for the best. And this is the Mega Sticks, and it's a lip gloss, br brilliant, I don't know, you guys. And it's in the shade uh, Past Curfew. So let's see if we can make this work, you guys. And I love these lip glosses by Wet n' Wild. They are just so nice. Um, they sent them over to me. And I've just kept them in my purse, like, constantly. Yeah, I think we made that work close enough. Uh, not too bad, you guys. Okay, so that is everything, I think, you guys. I think I used everything. Let me just do a quick, quick uh, rundown on things that I absolutely loved uh, that stood out. Of course, that mascara, the pore filler, uh, this one here, which shocked me because, like I said, it felt super greasy going on. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I just can't even believe how it blurred um, my pores and my nose doesn't look shiny at all right now. 
Uh, yeah, super impressive, you know, super impressed by that. I actually really loved uh, these foundations and the CC cream. Um, and this so far, this little aqua uh, primer, this was really hydrating, felt nice. Uh, the squalene, I'm a little, um, I don't know about this one, maybe, but use it on my hands or something like that. For under the eye, I just feel like that it was a little bit too uh, greasy. So this concealer, I'm just not sure about yet because I would like to try it with one, you know, without uh, using the squalene. Um, let's see, you guys, the bronzers were okay. You know, the stick bronzer, um, the contour one, I don't think I would get this one again. The lip liners, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to sharpen them, um, but they were good formulas. I love the little wing stamp thing. Uh, these blotting sheets are pretty nice. So, you guys, I think it was pretty successful. Um, even the palette, I mean, look at the look. It actually is super pretty, you guys. I think once you get it in your head that things are dollar or maybe $2, you know, you're thinking cheap and it's just embedded in your head. I think it just gets in the way when you're reviewing things, you know, you're like, oh, you know, it's a dollar. It can't be great you know, quality, but... I mean, it actually turned out pretty good, but I still stand by. I think it's going to hit the, you know, that hard pan very quickly. Uh, the blush is absolutely stunning. I love that, you guys. Let me just test all of this for uh, the waterproof uh, capabilities. And we are just going to pretty much drench my hand and see what's waterproof and what isn't. Okay, let me get you, you know, just a towel just in case. Okay, so this is the um, gel for the brow. That's pretty good. Um, and these are even like the eyeshadows, you guys. It's not coming off very easy with water. Uh, those are the lip liners. This is that uh, wing stamp. And that one's probably coming off the easy, I don't know, you guys. Um, what was that? Maybe that was a lip liner, you guys. Oh, no, that was that one that we made waterproof. Um, so, yeah, that held up pretty good. That's that one that we added, uh, that little solution, you know, to make your own eyeliner. And, um, oh, these here are the brow products, too. So those are pretty waterproof as well. Everything um, is pretty waterproof you guys um not completely but <laughs> too bad and i just wiped it away with a towel so i'm pretty impressed you guys i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope um you know things were helpful if you were looking into anything from aoa um i know that they have a few things on amazon but for the most part unless you um have a store in your area, you know, you would have to order online. But again, like I said, I, I got it in less than a week. All right, you guys, I am so glad that I was able to do this video and <laughs> not, you know, faint or get sick or something, you know, because I was a little nervous. I was not feeling the best, but I feel a lot better now, now that I have my makeup on and I'm actually getting ready to go over to the kids' house because we are packing them, you guys. Uh, it's coming down to the last few days and yeah, I'm not even going to think about it right now. I'm not even going to talk about it because we don't want tears today. All right, you guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, if you please hit that like button. It really does help me out and I truly appreciate it. I can't wait to see you guys again. I love you so much. And until next time.